Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Farrell. St. Jerome. I want to thank St. Jerome for another incredible fancy farm. We also, you're also well represented by Representative Richard Heath, State Senator Stan Humphreys, obviously Congressman Ed Whitfield, and Commissioner of Agriculture Jamie Comer is with us here today. We appreciate them all. But look, you know, before I get started, I want to say how nice it is, how nice it is to see Jerry Lundigan back in the game. Like the loyal Democrat he is, he's taking orders from the Obama campaign on how to run his daughter's campaign. They told him to make a pitch on the internet the women's vote, and he sent a check to Anthony Weiner. <laughs> over the next 15 months, over the next 15 months, we're going to decide what kind of America we want to have, what kind of Kentucky we want to have. There are only two answers to this question. Barack Obama's vision for America or Kentucky's. You know, I brought Kentucky's voice to Washington and the Obama crowd doesn't like it. You see, Kentucky's voice is often the voice of opposition to the Obama agenda. And I'm proud of that. That's why every liberal in America, every liberal in America is out to beat us next year. The liberals are worried because, just as I predicted, Obamacare is a disaster for America. I fought them every step of the way, every step of the way on the government takeover. And we stand up to their war on coal. Look, as long as I'm in the Senate, Kentucky will have a voice instead of San Francisco and Martha's Vineyard. So look, all these liberals, all these liberals have come down here to push me around. They're not going to get away with it, are they? Rand Paul, Ed Whitfield, and I take Kentucky's fight to the liberals every single day. Let me give you an example. A few months ago, the nanny state liberals decided, the nanny state liberals decided you couldn't fish below the dams on the Cumberland River anymore. Well, I rounded up the troops. We all got together with Ed Whitfield and Rand Paul, and you can still fish below the dams. We stopped them. Back in the beginning of the year, they tried to raise taxes on everybody. I led the charge to save 99% of Kentuckians for a tax, from a tax increase. They tried, to bully, they tried to bully conservatives over at the IRS, but we called them out. Now look, you can't get any of those things done from the back bench. That's why it's important very, very important to keep Kentucky's voice strong. We've obviously got some big elections coming up, but we're not just choosing, we're not just choosing who's gonna represent Kentucky in the Senate. We're gonna decide who's gonna run the Senate. And here's the choice. Here's the choice. Is the Senate going to be run 
by a Nevada yes man for Barack Obama who believes coal makes you sick or the guy you're looking at. It's really quite simple. Here's the choice. Obama's Nevada yes man or a Kentuckian to run the Senate. Thanks for all you're doing. It's going to be a great campaign. We're going to have a lot of fun.